All right, sixth grade. Um, I am not able to be at school right now because I had a test for COVID. I don't get my results back for a little while. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a, a landscape that shows foreground, middle ground, and background. And if you're not really for sure what any of that means, foreground means it's gonna be somewhere down here at the bottom of the paper that's gonna be closer to you, something that's gonna be a lot bigger. Middle ground is something that's gonna be behind that that's just slightly smaller and a little bit lighter in color. Things that are found in the background of a picture is gonna be smaller and lighter. So basically, if this was a landscape, this foreground would be darker in color middle shade and lightest larger medium size smaller okay so i'm going to have color guidelines for you guys um, we're going to use our secondary colors which is purple green and orange it doesn't matter what shade so if you have some that are slightly different in shade, that's fine. And then I'm also going to have black. So I'm just going to quickly sketch out a um, sort of Halloween themed landscape. And you guys can alter it any way that you want. If you don't want a Halloween theme, you can make yours fall themed. Um, and I still want you to figure out a way to use your secondary colors, even if it is fall themed. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to take my pencil and lightly sketch a couple of things. The first thing that you guys will need to draw is a line across your paper, which is where you want to have your sky meet the ground. Let me draw that a little darker for you. Okay, so if this is going to be my sky, I know that somewhere back here is going to be my background. I'm just going to start out by drawing a pumpkin shape. somewhere at the bottom of my paper because I'm going to start with my foreground first. And as I'm drawing my lines on my pumpkin, I'm making sure that the curves of my pumpkin are matching with the side of the pumpkin. So since this pumpkin side goes out to the right, all of my lines on this side will also curve to the right which means that since my pumpkin curves left here, that all these lines will proceed to turn to the left. Okay, that will help it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Maybe right here, I'm gonna add tree and all I'm doing is just kind of making some squiggly lines for my branches and if you want to go outside of that and add more branches off your tree that's fine too maybe you want to have a hole in your tree Okay, so I already have two things in my foreground. I got my tree and a pumpkin. So I'm gonna just draw another line to kind of separate it so this can now become my middle ground. And I think here 
I'm going to add a fence in my middle ground. And I'm just drawing pointed arrows that go up with straight lines that go down. with lines in between to connect my fence. And I want it kind of like a rickety looking fence, so I'm not perfecting it. Now I'm just erasing my marks that I had before. And then I think in my background, I want to add some smaller pumpkins on the ground. And then maybe far, far away, I want to have a really cool looking like haunted house or something. And if you are drawing a fall sort of picture, you can just make a regular house. Somewhere in the background, I might have a full moon with maybe a, a bat. Okay. So, what I have here in my foreground is the tree and the pumpkin. My middle ground is covered by my fence and maybe these pumpkins. And then in my background, I've got the moon, the bat, and the hill with the house. Okay, so whenever you guys do yours, it needs to have your three parts. It needs to have something in the foreground, middle ground, and background. Okay, now whenever I go to color this, let's say I want to color this pumpkin purple, because why not? Ooh, that broke. I like, I'm gonna do a green. I'm actually going to add a little bit of black into it to darken it. Because I want to make sure that no matter what, this is colored slightly darker than this house. The house should be fairly light because it's in the background. So if I'm coloring with my colored pencil, I'm just not going to press down as hard. So that way it stays a lighter value than this pumpkin. So this is gonna be dark, this is gonna be medium in value, and that's going to stay light. Same with the tree. Since this is in the foreground, all this is going to be really dark. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this colored and then I'll share a picture with you whenever it's done so that way you can see the value color change from dark, medium to light. 